So this is our labyrinth. As you can see, it's made out of sailcloth, and uh, there's a particular pattern that's painted on the, uh, the, uh, the sailcloth. Um, I'm not going to get into the whole history of, of the labyrinth, but it, there was one embedded in the cathedral in Chartres, France, and it was brought over by the, the United States by an Episcopal priest, but that, that, none of that at this point is important. So let me just get to cut to the chase. It's not a maze. This is not about you uh, trying to find a way out of something. There's only one circuitous path. It leads you to the center, and then you turn around and you walk that path, and it leads you right back out uh, into the world. Generally, there are three stages uh, for the walk or to the walk. Releasing on the way in, receiving in the center, and returning when you follow the return path back uh, out uh, of the labyrinth. Uh, symbolically and sometimes actually, you're taking back into the world that which you have received. It's a way of praying, it's a way, it's a kind of movement praying, it's a way of releasing uh, the things that are uh, weighing upon your heart, upon your mind, uh, upon your soul. Um, you'll be invited, you'll see that there are chairs that are about seven or eight feet apart from one another. Um, uh, you'll be invited to just sort of sit uh, and prepare yourself to let go of uh, the, all of the things that are cramming uh, your head and then uh, to, walk the, uh, to walk the labyrinth. There are explanatory sheets on each chair uh, to help you or to remind you of what, um, what this is about and to help you um, uh, to, to focus on, on this particular spiritual discipline. Once you're ready, you'll enter the labyrinth here at this opening and follow the path as it weaves and bends around and leads you to the center. And then once you're in the center, you'll just follow the path back out as it weaves you back out by following the path. Just a few basic rules before you walk the labyrinth. Uh, one is please remove your shoes. Um, stocking uh, feet or socks are fine, uh, but please no bare feet. Uh, if you happen not to bring any socks with you, we have a bin with clean socks. And once you've worn them, if you put them on the other side with the dirty socks, we'll make sure that they get clean. And of course, there's some hand sanitizer here that we invite you or encourage you uh, to use before and after walking uh, the labyrinth. So that's all there is to it, and I know it seems ridiculously simple, but I will tell you that I and I know many, many people who have had an experience, deep spiritual experiences uh, while walking the labyrinth. Um, it's here for you um, if and when you care to uh, walk this journey. <laughs>